Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Jidong Atoll, and in today's episode, episode 6, it'll be pretty much a continuation of the last episode. So that means we're going to be working on the Bishopton Square area, which, as I explained in last episode, is kind of like a British sort of cultural 1800 style themed area. In today's episode specifically, I'm going to be adding more buildings and rides within them and around them. If I have time at the end of this episode, I'll also show you my little tweaks that I've made to the go-karts track. Let's just say I've made it quite an unrealistic go-karts track this time. I've added a few novelty areas, which I think you guys might enjoy. So, just to give you a brief idea, in the next episode I'm planning on starting the water park area. My initial thoughts is that this could be kind of like an ancient Greek, perhaps Roman style area with lots of rides including water slides, a lazy river, a general wave pool area and perhaps some other water themed rides. But for now I'm going to crack on with the rest of Bishopson Square and leave you with the time lapse. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll catch you in a bit. Got enough of every melody, they all sound the same. Yeah, for my broken heart, no remedy. But maybe if you stay, we can get away with it. Cause you make me love my imperfections, answer all my questions just to show me what's on the other side of inhibition.
So guys, I just thought I'd slow down the time lapse so you can kind of appreciate everything in real time speed. I really like the little boating lake that I've got now. I think that's really cool and kind of sets off the mansion really well. I've also got a little tunnel you might be able to see in the top left that I built. It's obviously fake, but I'm toying with the idea of maybe having a little tram network. So sort of like London buses going underneath um, all the way around the back, kind of as, as a tram network really. So we'll see about that. But otherwise, I've made a little Crystal Palace area, which I think is quite cool. Just a bit more scenery, really, nothing else. And a little Jordan building, which I did off camera, as you can see there. It has a, a circus inside, but obviously you can't see it. So Next, I think I'm going to start working on like a Tudor-style pub. So this is quite reminiscent of Sinclair's Oyster Bar in Manchester, if you know it. Um, or the old Wellington, I think it's also called next door. So give that a Google if you want to see what I'm kind of thinking about when I'm building this. Now, I was going to show this at the end, but because I basically start building very close to it, you'll start to see it in the time lapse for the Tudor pub. So I thought I'd just go over the go-karts track now, the changes that I've made. As you can see, it's mainly a lot more advertisement. I thought this really kind of adds this like dynamism to it. And of course, if you can see it there, there's a little jump of like a flaming pit of lava. Um, this is just a joke. It's obviously, you know, it's not serious. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll leave you with the rest of the time lapse. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being lied to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us And that's the pub finished with. What do you guys think? I'm pretty pleased with it. 
it reminds me of kind of like an old Tudor style inn because obviously that's what I was going for so of course it does but you get the idea with a nice little summer beer garden anyway I am just adding a few more trees here and there just to kind of spruce up the place <laughs> 10 points if you get that joke and yeah just kind of fill in the blanks where I've not built anything or I will be building anything really so yeah um, in the next part I'm going to start building a race course a horse race course that is um, and it's going to be kind of between the manor house and the crystal palace so I'm going to terraform a little bit to make some land for that but yeah anyway I think it looks really cool it's a steeple chase but I actually hide all the tracks so you can't see it and yeah I think it looks really fun so I'm going to leave you with the time lapse again and I'll catch you in a bit So that's it for the Bishopton Square area. What do you guys think? I'm pretty pleased with how it's turned out. 
I feel like I'm going to touch up things here and there, mistakes that I've already spotted whilst I've been panning around, but otherwise I'm pretty happy. I mentioned it briefly at the start of the episode, but I'm thinking more and more about adding a little London-style bus route through the Bishopton Square area. I'm not going to delete anything and it'll probably run mostly underground, but yeah, I kind of feel like it would add something to it. I said at the start that I'm looking forward to the next episode being on the water park area, and I really am actually, guys. I'm very, very excited because I've already got some brilliant ideas in my head about how I'm going to lay out things and how things are going to work. It may be that that's also going to be a two-part episode. We'll have to see. Depends on how big, how uh, extravagant I go, but I'd be surprised if it was a single episode, let's just say that. Now, I did promise you all, if I had time, that I'd show you the go-karts track, so it'd be rude not to. So here you go, here it is in all its full glory, and you can see a few laps of them going around. I'll just let it run for a little while. Around this area I'm thinking of adding other like vehicle type rides, so maybe like a monster truck ride, perhaps through kind of like a building site with some cranes involved and, and some other half finished buildings, I don't know, something like that. Other than the water park that's yet to come, I still don't really have any master plan on the actual entire island. So I was going to ask you guys if you actually had any ideas in terms of perhaps any themes that I could explore. Sort of on the tracks of what I've already done already, so something similar to like Bishopton Square or, or whatever. If you do, then yeah, feel free to give me a few comments or whatever. That'd be absolutely great and I'll, I'll, I might really seriously consider them. But for now, I just want to thank you all for watching. Your support's been really good throughout this. It's definitely given me the motivation to keep going. Not that I didn't have motivation before. I feel like if you don't like already have that kind of within you, then there's no point doing this. But it certainly doesn't help when people kind of cheer you on and give you uh, praise for what you've already built. So it means a lot to me, guys. It really does. So I think we're going to leave it there. And I'll catch you in the next episode. I'm really looking forward to it, guys, and I'll see you there. Cheers. Bye.